Hi all, myself and David Grosvenor will be looking at critical possessions and maybe parts of analysis which I didn't explore fully in my main videos as well. And this actually ticks both boxes. This is a bit of analysis which uh, is actually quite important for the main video and I'm pre presenting you it now along with additional insights. So this is from game two uh, where I show you some variations with knight takes f7 but there actually is another critical position with knight takes f7 and we're going to have a look at that now in great detail. So Leela will be playing white against Stockfish 9 for this simulation. So this is World Championship game game 2 and we're going to take it to the critical position in inverted commas. So was there a major turning point? So we're going to take it all the way to move 17 where we have an aggressive knight by Magnus Carlsen on e5 so it's eyeing this soft spot which causes some very interesting variations to be checked out and perhaps I was premature in checking out knight takes f7 in this particular position which is fundamentally unsound if you want a quick recap of why it's fundamentally unsound here uh, the two main lines of this unsound continuation Queen h7 uh, let's have a look at Queen h7 first this just doesn't work Bishop takes check uh, black has enough resources here and it has to be careful though in this position to play Bishop d7 because otherwise if Queen c7 it turns out that f5 might be enough for white to draw believe it or not this looks as though this is technically uh, at least good enough for a draw this this situation and here if bishop d7 rook takes and then it's perpetual check time so there are variations here which are quite dangerous in uh, the queen h7 line but also the other kind of main move continuation in this fundamentally unsound line is taking on d6 first but uh, this does just doesn't lead to anything the rook lift is is parried and it's good enough for black to have a big advantage but what really is perhaps more critical of interest still with the fancy knight takes f7 the stunning looking knight takes f7 is after c takes so what happens here to make this a little bit more special well in fact after c takes here there's more vulnerability on the default and you might think well couldn't black have actually taken uh, with the pawn it turns out here can you see an, a good move for white okay it's good enough at least for equality knight c4 and taking out that dark square bishop this is an even position it seems on current analysis so the point is though of this video the main focus now coming into focus is this position of the knight takes d5 and my analysis was already updated uh, for some of this but this is in more detail now Leela her start position is knight takes f7 17 knight takes f7 against stockfish 9 what would be the outcome here as in hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy they ask the computer what's the answer to life the universe and everything but the thing is what was the question well I'm giving it a shot that the question 17 knight takes f7 here so what's the answer could white have won this game should Magnus Carlsen have any regret for not playing knight takes f7 well the mighty stockfish 9 did take uh, if bishop takes let's rule this out knight takes is very bad for black uh, this position white has a big advantage that can be parried that mate threat big advantage so let's go with king takes f7 and now bishop takes d6 causing that knight to be pinned basically on the d file uh, an immediate bishop h5 check here this position is interesting to consider as well though let's have a look at this so with e4 to start off with if bishop d7 e takes this is uh, technical analysis from stockfish 9 this position should be equal 
and we can also try and exploit the pinned knight with c4. Now here there's a counter pin potential queen g6 with menacing threats on the king side like queen f8 check or qu actually queen e8 check and then bishop g6 if, just to put this on the board this is the most critical to get this kind of juicy chat mate that's the most critical so let's uh, have so what does black actually do in this position knight f6 parries this and this is the key follow-up it seems where white is able to draw but it seems no more in this line there's perpetual check scenario here and if picking up knight, it's still even apparently so that's why bishop h5 check it doesn't seem to do that much so let's go in with this game continuation simulation so Leela plays bishop takes d6 first no, none of this not not checking first so rook takes now actually checking king g8 okay it looks very similar but okay e4 played now so exploiting the pin like that bishop d7 giving the piece back with bishop d7 on knight e7 then rook takes d6 queen takes this is actually just an even position that was hitting the black queen by the way bouncing there this should be an even position on knight f4 instead rook takes queen takes this let's have a look at this with f4 is a very interesting position but again it seems as though this is really dangerous because of f5 now but black's idea was actually not to allow f5 but to play bishop c8 yeah if rook c8 then f5 is crushing but the idea of this variation is to play bishop c8 and get the bishop on f5 that's just bad for white and if the rook moves then this is just even off bishop f5 at least even so uh so after e4 the main line of this simulation game is bishop d7 e takes bishop takes a4 queen a2 which pins the bishop to the queen rook takes d5 which kind of unpins now the rook's protecting the queen but there's also an idea of hitting the bishop as well but funny enough white has bishop g4 here leela plays bishop g4 here against the mighty stockfish after bishop takes d1 bishop takes e6 check this tactical skirmish here leads to what looks like a drawish position basically or well, both sides seem to think this is very very drawish going into this end game and a draw agreed here virtually so professor leela and professor stockfish 9 think knight takes f7 on move 17 is quite interesting and when their roles were reversed with stockfish line playing white that was also a draw so there's agreement actually that knight takes f7 here at move 17 with best play it seems as far as they they are concerned best play leads to a draw so i hope you enjoyed some of this addendum analysis and it also addresses one of my concerns that I missed out knight takes f7 at this more timely perhaps moment where the d-file pin features come into play here in the variations making it more solid actually to analyze with at least potential for equality if, if nothing else okay if you enjoyed this uh, game analysis uh, addendum game analysis and you would like other simulations please let me know which game and which move and why you'd like to explore in this simulation analysis of any world championship game coming up or the first two already played but for me yeah this was important to check out knight takes f7 uh, you should see a box appear on the on the left shortly to become a member at chessworld.net you can play against other youtubers you can also check this analysis and other analysis on the improved menu you learn from the masters uh, youtube order okay comments questions like share subscribes with the notification bell all appreciated Thanks very much.